Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah and in today's video we will be doing something that I have both been looking forward to and dreading for the past months because we are decluttering my wardrobe. But before we head over to my wardrobe I would like to add that if you do enjoy watching videos about thrifting and styling secondhand and vintage fashion then go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Here we have my wardrobe and as you will be able to see it is um, a little bit messy and a little bit unorganised. Uh, there's like a thought to the organisation but I haven't really you know, kept up with it. So my goal for today is to mainly reorganise so that all of the pieces of clothing are back to the place where they are supposed to be. But I also know that there are quite a lot of pieces in my wardrobe that I don't really feel myself gravitating towards wearing so there's no point in keeping them so I will be getting rid of quite a lot of pieces as well. And if you have been following my channel for a while then you will know that about a year ago I did a similar clear out and I thought we would do the same process that I did then, meaning that we are going to take everything out of the wardrobe and put it on the bed because I feel that that will be the best way to decide what goes back into the wardrobe and especially since I want to move some things around I um, think that's the way to go, so um, let's empty my wardrobe. Last year my obsession with uh, dresses has definitely grown because I own more dresses than I can fit into my wardrobe. So as you may or may not know, if you watched my channel before then you will know, um, I love wearing knitwear in all like shapes and colours and I own too much and um, it's always the part of my wardrobe that is an issue where I can't find anything and it's always overflowing so we'll have to see what we do with all my knitwear. I'm also realising that I am finding pieces that to be honest I thought I had gotten rid of this. I like mentally have intended to get rid of it so I'm actually a bit confused as to why it is still in my wardrobe. Another one of my newfound obsessions is um, maxi and midi skirts and I do really love my collection but I feel that maybe I shouldn't be storing like five on each hanger. I'm someone who used to wear a lot of black jeans. They were like my you know, go-to everyday uniform. But I almost never wear black denim anymore. So um, I think I own a little bit more pairs than I actually need. We have two of my favourite thrifted handbags and um, I think I'm going to pop these somewhere else for now because I don't want them getting squished. Okay, so I'm not really done yet. There are still a couple of more drawers for me to empty. But the thing is, like, I did this a year ago. So I sort of knew that the pie on the bed was going to be huge, but I sort of feel that over this year I have accumulated a lot more clothes than I had the year before because um, this is quite a lot.
So everything in this box that has been kept at the top of my wardrobe are things that when I did my last clear out I was a little bit like indecisive about should I keep it or should I not keep it. So I popped them in a drawer to see if I was going to miss them and um, I haven't got anything out of this drawer for the past year. And I know that some of them are here for like sentimental purposes and that's okay I will be keeping those but I think there's a lot in here that can go. I also have this really like nifty uh, divider thingy from Ikea which stores all of my belts and my headscarves and things like that but I think this one needs an organise as well. So that is my entire wardrobe emptied. There are well, still a few things in the bottom drawers. Um, I do have a drawer with things that I need to mend and then I just have some things in storage that isn't clothing so I'm going to leave that there for now. But um, yeah, as you can see we have quite a pile of stuff to get through. Um, it is definitely bigger than it was last year. And I don't know, there's just something about looking at all of your clothes in one go that, I don't know, it's almost like a little bit gross when you see how much things you actually have. So um, definitely in need of a proper declutter. But before I do that, I am actually going to bring out the vacuum cleaner and, you know, just clean out the entire wardrobe now that it is empty. So um, I feel a little bit nicer putting all my clothes back. So I'm going to do that and then I'll catch up with you. I have now cleaned out my entire wardrobe so it is looking a lot nicer and cleaner. And now we have the most difficult task ahead of us and that is tackling this huge pile of clothes. So something that I am struggling with a little bit is the fact that I do have a pretty clear vision of how I like wanted to dress. I'm going to roll some like inspo from my Pinterest so you can see sort of what vibe I'm going for. But the thing is that I do have quite a lot of clothes that I wear and that I enjoy wearing but they're just not like in that style and I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with those because like it's clothes that I use quite regularly but they're not in the style that I wished that I had. So that is going to be a challenge. But as we sort through the clothes, I thought that we're going to do a couple of different piles of clothes. We're going to do one pile with things that I don't want in my wardrobe anymore. And if it's going to be donated or put on my Depop, we'll figure that out later. The main part is they're leaving my wardrobe. I realise that there will be some things that I need to try on to see if they still fit me. So I'm going to do a pile of things that, well, I need to try on to see if they fit and if I want to keep them. And then we will have a pile of things that I know that I am definitely keeping and that I want to have back in my wardrobe. And then there is going to be a fourth pile, even though I wish that there wasn't, but there is going to be a pile of things that I don't know if I want to keep this or not. And I hate having that pile, but from experience, I know that I'm going to have that pile anyway, so um, let's just get started, I guess. And I thought we would actually start off with going through all of my um, scarves and um, belts. Now that all of the belts and headscarves are sorted, I guess I can't like procrastinate taking care of this pile any longer because um, we also need somewhere to sleep tonight, so uh, I need to get going. But I thought we would start off with this box that, like I said before, I haven't used anything in this for the past year, so unless it has like a real sentimental value, um, I know there's some pieces in here that my mum has made for me, for example, then I will be keeping it, but otherwise I think it's going. Okay, I had completely forgotten about this, but my entire collection of black graphic tees is here, and, like, 
I'm not someone who dresses in that anymore, but they have been a part of my life for so long and I just can't see myself getting rid of them. Beautiful dress, but I just haven't worn it. I have so many other dresses that I think I like more. Another dress that I had actually forgotten that I owned, so I'm not really sure what I'm going to do about that one. Um, graphic tees, this one I think can go. Um, keeping that one. Oh. Okay, I had more graphic tees and band shirts than I remembered, so I'm actually going to have to go through this pile properly because I can't keep all of these for sentimental values. Okay, I got rid of quite a few, but I'm still keeping quite many, but no one has to know. It will be our little secret that I'm keeping things that I shouldn't be keeping. I also have this issue that like, I have a couple of basics, so this is just like a grey t-shirt, and the thing is that there is absolutely no resale value in this, so if I throw it out, it will probably just end up being burned with the rest of our trash, so... But at the same time I don't like it because it's stretchy and it's... I don't know, I, I struggle with getting rid of basics that I don't really need but that I know that no one else will ever buy. I have a couple of new pieces that I'm definitely keeping. I think that when it comes to um, the pile of black denim that I had, I do need to try all of these on because it was just like so long ago I actually wore them so we need to try these. I don't really own like a lot of the party or going out pieces. So um, even though I don't wear this one that often, um, I am keeping it because it has this, it's like a super sparkly t-shirt, so I'm keeping this one. Try those on. I've never really enjoyed wearing anything in a faux leather, so I think it's time to let these go. Haven't used since my last clear out. Another try on. Love. Love is already on my Depop. Is going on my Depop. Oh, hang on. This one is maybe not really my colour palette, but my mum's made it and uh, I think it is very elegant, so I'm keeping it. I haven't worn this one since my last clear out, so um, I think it's time to let it go. A couple of different camis. I love wearing these, I'm keeping them all. Beautiful vintage piece. I have been telling myself for so long that you're going to wear it, but I never have worn it, so um, I think it's time to let it go. Same goes for this one. I, I just don't wear it. Nor this one. It survived many clear outs but I just don't like I love it but I never wear it so I hope that someone else will get more use out of it there was a point when I was quite convinced that like I was a flannel and band shirt type of girl and well I guess I sort of was but I'm not anymore so I will be getting rid of this flannel. And I also just want to add that if you are enjoying this video so far then make sure that you give it a thumbs up because it really does help me out. And also the clothes that I'm getting rid of, if there's something that you see straight away that you know that I would really want that then uh, drop me a comment down below or reach out to me on uh, either my Depop or my Instagram, I will have the links for those uh, down below because the majority of this will be going on my Depop, but if you want to snatch it before I put it on there, then um, just let me know and we will fix that. One 
one of my newest dresses. I will leave the uh, thrift haul for this down below if you're interested. This black pleated skirt is one that I've been keeping because I've been thinking that it will be perfect to use for like Instagram posts or YouTube videos but at the same time I've come to the point where I realise that the outfits that I put up onto the internet I want them to be things that like I would actually wear so what is the point of keeping something just for the sake of like a styling video if I know for a fact that the outfit I put together with it isn't something that I would wear so I think that that goes with the blue pleated one as well. I will be getting rid of both of these because in my actual life I never use them. So I am starting to realise that this video is getting quite long and in order for me to be able to have the time to edit it, to have it up by Friday, I think that I'm actually going to end this video here and then next week we will be um, sharing part two of the closet clear out video. So I hope that you have enjoyed watching so far and make sure that you are subscribed by hitting that little subscribe button down below so that you don't miss on part two that I will be dropping next week instead. And if you're watching this a bit little bit in the future I will have part two linked down below so you can just go and continue watching that one because we still have quite a lot left.